Hello folks and welcome back. We're in Gone with the Wind and we're about to do the high speed ring 30 minutes in a GR3 racing car with a set set of tyres. We're going to start this race on racing medium. What we know is it's going to be dry, wet, dry, but it's going to be a drying track at the end of the race. So we've had to pick a GR3 car so we went for the Corvette C7. It's currently 571 bhp and I don't really know what mods I've done to get it up to there. I think I might have just, I think I've just put tyres on it, genuinely. So here we go, starting the race. I've done this a couple of times, it's about 60 miles, so I've got to the halfway point a couple of times and realised I've done the wrong thing. So, starting racing medium tyres and we're going power setting one all the way to the pits. We know we're going to pit twice. And as you can see here, we're making good progress. We've done three laps so far. We're three minutes into the race and we're up to 13th place and it's starting to rain. With that being on the racing tyres, we know we're going to lose out to cars because this car's gone on more compliant tyres, but they are going to change and pit more often. So after five laps, we're in 15th place, but we're keeping up with traffic and we're still on power setting one. And you can see my fastest lap times there. We're in the 110 and I'm doing 112s now. So no major disasters. What I have realized this with the end of the race is that there's lots of time in this. You don't have to go massively aggressive. You just have to keep up. So here we go. First pit stop. We've chosen to go out on um, inters and we've taken a full tank of gas. So we're still on power one. On intermediates, we're on lap eight. We've done 12, 11 minutes of the race so far, and we're just starting to cut past people again. So we're up to 10th. People are now pitting, and more of them, but some are still out on racing tyres. You're going to see cars have accidents because they're wrong tyres. You're also going to have the odd one. So here we go. You can see a really wet line and I've lost it because I went too high and wide and then got hit by a car coming behind us. I get hit again going into that corner. So here we go. We're on. It's really now heavily wet. If you look in the bottom left hand corner you can see the wet, wet indicator which says there's water patches and there's floating water on the track. But we went for inters and we're going to try and push on. There's another spin at the fastest part of the circuit where we aquaplane and get hit again. So we've got around about three minutes or so until until we're going to pit again. The tyres look in really good nick though, so if I plan to stop on 20, 10 minutes gone and 20 minutes gone, we'd be doing all right. But we're losing pace again now, we're getting overtaken, but the cars pit and we're overtaking cars coming out the pits. So with 10 minutes to go, we're up to fifth place and we are thinking about the next pit stop. We're now down to sixth. But you can see the dry line forming, so we now know we're going to have to start thinking about getting these inters off and getting onto a racing tyre. So my rear tyres are losing grip, cars are pitted, we're down, we're up to fourth. Seven minutes to go. I'm down to a quarter of a tank of gas and I'm thinking pit next lap, let's pit next lap. So we're on lap 18, six minutes to go. If we pit with five minutes to go, we're in third, we've got a chance of getting this done. So. Here we go into the pits, we're going to pack to racing mediums to use that dry line. And here we go, out onto the track then, we're in 8th place. We've just overtaken 7th, there's 6th gone, we're up to 6th. Cars have pitted, so we're up into 3rd and we overtake the 2nd and 1st place cars as they were coming out the pits. So we're now in 1st place and we've got a 7 second lead. We're overtaking lap markers, there's a minute and a half to go, so I'd say another lap after this and we're done. 11 second lead. 23 second lead, definitely on the last lap. So there it is, time's over, 17 seconds in lead and there's first place. And it's no much harder than that guys, a couple of attempts at that to work out what the tyre should be. And you're there, gold is yours, thank you very much.